Welcome to our daily encounter, the full gospel, day four. I really hope you're finding these daily devotions helpful. Let me know what you think. I believe the gospel, the message Jesus came to proclaim and demonstrate, is still good news for today. The majority of our society may have rejected God, his message, and pushed him to the sidelines, but God's not dead. Even in the broken chaos we see in the world around us, there is hope, and hope has a name. His name is Jesus. Our third word we use to describe the full gospel is rescued. We were lovingly created by God, but through the choice Adam and Eve made, we find ourselves fallen, lost and separated from God, spoilt, broken, and facing the consequence of rejecting God and his framework for life, death, eternal separation from God. No longer living under God's care, we now follow the ways of this world and the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the devil, the Bible teaches. But we don't see it. We need to be rescued because we are unwittingly ruled by the God of this age, who has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, we read in 2 Corinthians 4. 4. It sounds like a conspiracy theory, but it's true. We need to be rescued because currently we belong to the devil, who is a liar and the father of lies, we read in John 8, 4. But God had a rescue plan. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. John 3, 16. Compelled by love, God stepped out of heaven, became one of us and took on a broken and a decaying body and experienced the suffering and pain of living in a spoilt and fallen world so that he could pay the penalty for our rebellion against God. Jesus never rejected the Father God, chose to give his life, endured separation from his Father and died the most horrific death so we don't have to. The Bible says, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5.8 Just at the moment, the devil and every ruler, authority and power of this dark world thought they had destroyed God once and for all. Jesus declared, it is finished. What Jesus knew but the devil never grasped was that death was the penalty for sin, the rejection of God and his framework for life. But Jesus never sinned. He never rejected God, never stepped out of God's framework for life. So he didn't deserve to die. Death could not hold him. And on the third day, Jesus was raised again to life. His mission to rescue us was complete. Now all those who call on the name of Jesus can be forgiven for their sin and therefore escape death and be rescued and reconciled to the God of eternity. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, we read in Colossians 1.14. We no longer belong to the devil. We've been rescued and become citizens of a new kingdom with a new king, Jesus. Once again, we can know God, know his voice, enjoy his love and find our security, significance and purpose for life. But that's not the end. Tomorrow we see there is more to this incredible redemption plan. If you're listening to this and you've not been rescued and you want to be saved, please say this prayer with me. If you mean it with all your heart, Jesus will rescue you right now. Firstly, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me so much that you were willing to give your life in place of mine. Thank you for taking the penalty that I deserved. Thank you for rescuing me from death. Secondly, sorry. Sorry that I've made mistakes, done things wrong and turned my back on you. I am truly sorry and ask that you'd forgive me. I ask that you would wipe my, me clean on the inside and the outside and give me a new beginning. Three, please. Please would you help me follow you. Thank you for saving me. Now please be my Lord, my leader, my guide through life. Please help me love you and love people as you have loved me. Amen. If you've prayed that prayer for the first time or because you wanted to rededicate your life to following Jesus, please get in touch. 
I'd love to hear from you and offer any help I can to encourage you on your new journey. Let's spend a few minutes celebrating and worshipping Jesus for all he has done for us. Up 